at this point in our asteroids game, we have the ship that can fly around and it can shoot, and we have the asteroids, but you can see we don't have any collision detection. We cannot shoot the asteroids, and also we do not die when the spaceship hits the asteroids. So what we need to do is set up our collision detection. So to do this, we're going to need to first add a few graphics to the game before we continue on with our code. So I'm going to go in the library here, and I'll double click on MC Ship to go into symbol editing mode. And what we want to do is we want to add an explosion sequence to our video. So on frame 5, what I'm going to do is I'll select frame 5 here, and I want to put a keyframe here. And this is where I'll start an explosion sequence for the ship. Now to do this, what I might want to do is zoom in a little closer. So I'll take this piece of the ship, and I'll just use the arrows on my keyboard to move it apart breaking apart each of the lines on the ship. Maybe I'll delete this one, take this one and move it over here, this one over here, and this one maybe over here. The next thing I want to do is rotate these. So what I'll do is I'll take the transform tool and I'll rotate them slightly so that they look like they're breaking apart and drifting. And what I might also do is actually take this line and break it apart a little bit as well. And I'll rotate this one and this one and this one. So now here we have the ship, here's with the thrust, and here's the beginning of the explosion sequence. Now what we want to do is each frame from then on we're going to put a keyframe five frames ahead, insert keyframe, and then what you want to do is move each piece further out, also not forgetting to continue to rotate each piece slightly. So I'll take this piece, drag it out, rotate it slightly, and then I can scrub back and forth to see how it's working and if I'm moving it enough, etc. This one needs to move farther out and start to spin. So now you can see that as we go from here to here, and we're going to go all the way out till we reach frame 65. And on frame 65, what I'd like you to do is insert a blank keyframe. That's when the ship will be gone. And we'll also put a keyframe above on the action script layer where we have our actions. So I'm going to insert a keyframe there. On the action script layer, I'm going to select this blank keyframe, open up my actions window, and I'm going to use two important pieces of action script. First of all, I'm going to delete ship underscore mc dot on enter frame. Now this will remove the on enter frame handler that's running 65 frames per second. And this is so this is important. Also, on the next line, I'm going to use a this dot remove movie clip command, and that will remove the spaceship from the screen. So once the explosion sequence has played out, we want to, at the end, show no ship left and also stop the ship's on-enter frame handler from functioning 65 frames per second and remove the movie clip from the stage. We can do this because we attached the spaceship from the library in the beginning. So movie clips that we can attach from the library, we can also remove. Okay, I finished the explosion sequence off screen. I'll zoom back out to 100% and show you the sequence. So now if I scrub across, when the ship explodes, we jump to frame five and play, and you can see that the pieces are moving outward, and at the end, you can see that it's gone. And then we also clean up the movie clip by deleting the on enter frame handler and removing the movie clip. So now what we need to do is create a new movie clip for our extra lives functionality. Now for this, what I'll do is I'll zoom in 
And I want to copy the ship here. So I'm going to copy the, notice I'm still in symbol editing mode inside of MC ship. So I'm copying the shape here. All right, so edit, copy. And then I'll go to scene one. And I need to make a new movie clip. So I'll say insert new symbol. It's a movie clip. I'll call it MC Lives. Click OK and do an edit paste. Okay, so there it is. What I want to do is I want to rotate this. I'm going to zoom in, modify, transform, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So now it's straight on. And so on keyframe one, we see the ship pointed straight up. I'm going to put another keyframe here. And what I'll do is, is I'll just copy this, edit, paste in place, and then slide it over. And so there's two ships. New keyframe, insert keyframe, and edit, paste in place, and then slide it over. Now there's three ships. And then edit, paste in place once again. And so if we have four ships, these are our extra lives. And I'll just do one more for good measure. Insert keyframe, edit, paste in place. So now we can have a maximum of five ships, let's say. Now on frame 20 here, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. Now there's no ships. I'll put a new layer. And I'm going to need to put stop actions everywhere. So actually on the first keyframe here, I'll just put stop. And then I'll copy that frame and paste the whole frame. And I'll just paste that a bunch of times. And I'm even going to paste it here at the end, make a new layer, put a keyframe here at the end, and I want to put a frame label here with the name none. So there's my frame label. You can see the little red flag. If I want, I can put regular frames here so that we can see the text coming off the frame label. So now we have this movie clip called MC Lives. Now for this movie clip, I'm actually going to go back to scene one. I'll go into my library and I'll take this movie clip and I'll drag it out to the stage and I'm going to place it onto the stage. That's where our extra lives will go. And I'm going to select it and give it a name and I'm going to give it an instance name, MC Lives. Not MC Dash Lives, just MC Lives. So now we have a movie clip on the stage. The only movie clip we have on the stage is named MC Lives. And if you don't want it on the same keyframe as your action script code, what you can do is cut it, control X, make a new layer, and then edit, paste in place. So now I have my code on one layer and this movie clip on another. So these are our extra lives. So now that we have our spaceship destruction sequence and we have our extra lives movie clip, we can start coding up our collision detection and also code to our extra lives movie clip as well. We'll start with that. I'm going to highlight the action script keyframe, go into our game code, and you can see that we already have a variable in the init function right here. It says lives equals three. So right after, let's say right after our variables here, I can say MC lives dot go to and stop and I'll set it to whatever the variable is of lives. So there you go. So now if we hit control enter you can see that we start off with three lives in the upper right hand corner and that's because I've told the movie clip to go to and stop whatever the variable lives is equal to and since it's equal to three it jumps to keyframe three where we have three spaceships.